Hey y'all, this is Big Mike, outdoors with Big Mike. We're back at the church bass. They put some of that great green weed killer in here. So it's gonna make it a little interesting, squash the visibility a little bit. It takes out all the hydrilla, which keeps the water nice and clear. So we will be green tipping anything plastic today just for the visibility. Please remember, you can go up there and hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Hit the subscribe button. That helps me out immensely. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. I take I videotape everything I every time I go fishing. So you never know when you're gonna have that beast day where you're gonna catch you nothing but monsters. So let's go fishing and see if we can turn into nothing but catching. All right, guys, first one up. Three sixteen frog. This is a five inch, three sixteen weedless. I haven't caught one on this yet in here. I have, however, been struck pretty hard by it on it. And just remember, guys, when you're throwing big swim baits, glide baits, and you got that drag down, it's pretty much a dead stop. And you're pointing the rod tip at the bait, okay? You don't want the flex of the rod affecting your hook set because you know I mean, this is a nice it's that number I'd say that's the number 10 um no that's a number eight beast i mean that's a big hook <laughs> so you got to drive it pretty far into the fish and you want that rod tip flexing and negating that you want it like i run braid because when they grab it and they turn or i reel down on it i want dead stop and when i do pull it up i don't want any line stretch there might be some I give up some hook set when I do bring the rod up, but by that time that line's super tight. And in this case, this is a Dobbins Fury. It's got almost the exact same action as my all-star pitching, flipping, and frog rod. So she's stiff. She got a little bit of tip to her, but she ain't giving up much. Alright y'all, we got Zoom Super Fluke in the sprayed grass. This is a nice bluegill um, imitator. In this dark water, it should be phenomenal. So we got some little metal flakes in there, but we got the darker colors. And I did green tip that tail for that little bit of flash, that little bit of tension getter, like, oh, Mr. Bluegill, you messed up.
and we got it done weedless. There's always a little dinker in there somewhere. So. We do have this one rigged up for a flat fall. Should give me a little side to side shimmy, not that end tip flex like you get with the Cinco, the stick bait. I think the better fish are going to be up on the top. Pond up that way. We're gonna roll this section real quick anyway because the drop off, wind's pushing on it. It's not a bad thing. Oh guys, I forgot to put my filter on for selling the water here. Got that back on for us. And remember guys, when you're throwing these big swim baits, you gotta put the action in, you know. Straight, easy reels are okay to a degree when you're fishing at night with them. Because it helps the fish track them if they're picking up the vibration. But at least give it a little, you know, like a little sped up half turn or something like that. I'm not talking about crazy, you know, rod rips and Stuff like that. You cannot argue with the Piscopon 300 and a Dobbins Fury, man. <laughs> Well, y'all, the camera wasn't on. We were walking up, and Tim was throwing that that whopper popper in the five bar perch. And um, what? I said you talking about camera. Yeah. And as soon as we crossed the cable, like I told you when we were down down on the bottom, as soon as he threw, like the second cast passed the cable, whap, little one, one and a quarter. Didn't work out at Church of um, Bass, as you saw, so. We're doing a little something this evening. Good old Tim that we ran into. He brought me to a pond by his house. You need to check out his too. He, you know, he's been around for a while, but he got off 
off track for a bit, but he does have some very cool, he does a whole lot of do-it-yourself stuff, but that's outdoor, um, sorry, Infinity Outdoors Texas, TX, Infinity Outdoors TX. Um, but um, we're going to be throwing the same baits as earlier. Some good sized bass in here, as you saw, lots of vegetation, um, some submerged trees, so maybe we'll find those, and let's see if we can finally do some catching, all right? Let's go. Well, y'all, in the middle of me changing the battery, Tim here got one on the little tiny 60. Yeah, a little bit. You got what, the 75 and the 110 left? 75, 110, and the 190. Oh, the 190. The 190's gonna be the hardest one. Unless they really just fire up and start getting anything. Oh, dude, we used to do that all the time. Right. Growing up fishing with my, my grandpa and my grandmother, my grandmother. And half the time she get one doing it too. Right. <laughs> Just to make you look bad. Alright guys. So game on baits. And this is a little shiner. Well not little, but big. But it's a much different profile doesn't seem as big hopefully to the fish so Game on bait's got a nice side to side on it, man. These. Such a pretty bait. All right, one more bait that I changed out, y'all. I took the fluke off. I put a billy goat on. We're gonna have some shallow water coming up. And this makes a nice little gurgling sound. See if I can get something going here. the green pumpkin color This and the new goat toads, man. If you're fishing real shallow, like two foot or less, with some grass and stuff mixed in there, and this thing will just pull. Look at that, it's right over the top. I'm gonna move far because I want to run in front of this grass line a little bit. The smaller bait, see what happens. There we go. Yep. I actually got it on a billy goat. Z-Man billy goat, like a little chatterbait kind of thing. A 
Hooky looky guys, I got hooky. I'm almost two pounds, he's heavy. Look at that fat belly on him. All right, guys, let's slip him back in the water. <laughs> They're in the grass. That one came three feet off the grass and that was in the grass. Oh! Okay guys, that was awesome. So I paused to turn the camera on. And as soon as I started moving the bait, he hammered it. He did not like me moving that away from him. Look at that big old forehead on him. Ooh, shiny silver belly on him too. Very nice. Hey y'all. Well, hopefully I showed you something, gave you something to think about. You know, we didn't catch many fish, only caught a couple. But that's why they call it fishing and not catching. But it was a beautiful day. Hot, beautiful. And you know that last pond, that mystery pond? And unfortunately I can't tell you. And there's a lot of reasons. Okay, but trust me. Um, there were some good fish in there. Tim got some, I got some. Hopefully, you know, once again, you make the adjustments. So I had the billy goat to go on a, on a punching rig and I ended up using it as a top water. So, hey, you know, great versatility of the Z-Man baits. Throw it how you like. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Um, be a huge favor to me if you'd hit the subscribe and also hit the notification bell because that notification bell lets you know when something new comes out and you know I like throwing them big baits and so it can get real interesting real quick but y'all go fishing and I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye